Hey guys, welcome to Life Skills. My name's Wait, Sarah. One sec. What's the matter? Dude, we have to film. I just got the message. We're picking up the keys for the share house this Friday. Oh damn, how <laughs> exciting. Can't believe we're actually doing this. Yeah. You nervous? Yeah, definitely. I didn't actually know how to do much house stuff. Yeah, it's a massive change. Yeah, I feel like it's all the little things you take for granted, you know? Like cooking, cleaning food. I'll figure it out. Come on, let's film. Hi guys, welcome to Life Skills. My name's Sarah and this is Isaac. Today we'll be talking about how to make your house a home. First off, cooking, which I actually know some stuff about and it's not all from TikTok. Oh yeah? Definitely start with Google. You may as well use it to your advantage. There's heaps of great stuff on there. You'd be surprised. Usually home cooked meals are a lot healthier than prepackaged or takeout. And they're a lot cheaper too, if you're smart about it. Oh, I don't get the whole healthy eating thing though. It's just trying to be realistic. Look, the way to be happiest and healthiest is through balance. Corny, but true. Balance between... Well, certain foods make you feel good. Others will make you feel bad. Even if it's not in the moment, you'll feel the effects over time. But the key is replacing processed foods like chips and takeout meals with real foods like fruits, veg and fish. What should you look for with real foods? Remember in school when we learnt about different food groups and targets? So like protein, healthy fats, fibres, calcium and carbs. Oh, I love me some spag bol. And carbs are the best meals to batch cook. You want to make bigger portions and then section it off and then refrigerate it or freeze it. So that means you don't have to cook every day and your main meals are already sorted. That's awesome. Issue is I pretty much only know how to boil water. Well, stove tops and ovens can go a long way and kettles, ooh, and a blender if you can afford one. Get yourself a set of pots and pans, nothing expensive, because remember the key meals can be made through boiling or pan cooking. So cheese toasties and two minute noodles aren't a strict no-no? They're fine in moderation, so long as you can balance it out with healthier options too. Look, cheap eating doesn't mean bad eating if it's done cleverly. Okay, well, have you heard of bulk buying? Not really, what is it? Well, the main idea behind bulk buying is buying a bigger amount of things to save you more money in the long term. So for example, buying a 24 pack of toilet paper will actually turn out way cheaper than buying two 12 packs or four six packs. That sounds genuinely great. Yeah, it will save you heaps of money in the long term and it's way better for the environment. Oh, there's also that whole um, comparison shopping thing. So like right now, we're looking for a TV for our new apartment, but we won't just buy the first one we see. Yeah, true. I definitely need to start thinking about that now. Properly looking for the best options money-wise and not rushing it. How do you think you'd approach doing your food shop? Well, I think you'd need to make a list of what you need in order of priority. Then you'd hop online and research all the different prices at all the different stores. Woolies first, Aldi, for example. Then just pick the best one that best suits you. I think there are apps for it too, apparently. Oh, nice. Send me a screenshot. So the key for buying for yourself is ultimately go healthy, bulk buy, look for the cheaper options and research before you buy. You need to think about cleaning too. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, look, not the greatest of tasks, but it doesn't have to be horrendous. Plus, a clean space keeps your head clear. It's so boring though. Yeah, for some people, but for others it can be therapeutic. You know, just chuck on some headphones, put some music on, maybe a podcast, and it's pretty painless once you zone out. Well, I know that the less stuff you have, the less there is to clean and put away. I've chucked out most of my old stuff. Toys, books, clothes that I haven't used in years. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Treat a new place like a fresh start. Keep a handful of your really special items, things you use a lot, things you really love, and then everything else, not really necessary. Yeah. Oh, well, for the actual cleaning stuff I'm bringing, I've got a vacuum, bucket and mop, broom, and a toilet brush holder thing. Is that enough? I feel like you're missing stuff. Oh, well, those are the bigger things. I've obviously got to do a massive shop when I move in. Get bleach, toilet bowl cleaner, glass cleaner, and all-purpose cleaner. Oh, and Dad said the antibacterial spray and wipes are really handy because you can use them for like a bunch of different things. Yeah, in our house, we do a massive clean every Saturday. So we vacuum, clean our sheets, wipe down the kitchen and give the bathroom a scrub. It's a great way to get everything done in one go. We could even do a little bit day by day so it doesn't build up. Yeah, for sure. Look, the things to do every day is wipe down the kitchen and bathroom surfaces. It's really important with the whole germ thing. <laughs> yeah, good point. You know, you know, it actually seems all quite manageable. If we split up all the chores between us and the house, it'll be so chill. Yeah, exactly. Look, if everyone pulls their weight, it won't even seem like that much of a job. Well, 
On that note, I've got a cash to pick up. Could use a hand. Sounds like a plan. 